This is Hansel Emmanuel Donato Dominguez, and he is an inspiration. Yo quiero darle la vea a la gente que me vean como un gran jugador, talentoso como mucho. No por mi discapacidad, yo quiero verme como otro jugador que es bueno, que yo soy bueno, que yo puedo competir. As Hansen improved, he began posting videos on social media, grabbing the attention of a former teammate of his father, who is now coaching in the U.S., Moises Micael. I was watching my phone and I saw him play in the video. So I said, man, I need to help this guy, you know. How can I do something with him? His story is one of sadness, but tremendous perseverance. A story of what he dealt with, what he overcame, and how he is turning what was once viewed as a tragedy into a triumph that shows how strong the human spirit can be even when the deck is stacked against us. He is a laser focus high schooler, asking everyone to not see me as a special kid who has a disability. I wish that they only see me as a great player who will go as far as many. That I am a good player, he said in Spanish. It was not easy for Hansel to get to where he is today. He had to fight and claw to put himself in this current position, averaging 26 points, 11 rebounds, and seven assists per game in the 2021 season. At just six years old, he was playing in his native Dominican Republic, and a wall came down. He was trapped for almost two hours, and it was his father who had to come to his rescue. Here is Papa Bear, Salvador Donato, who played basketball professionally in the Dominican Republic. That day, he lost his left arm, and with this, the hope of playing baseball again, a sport that he practiced at that time. Me voy a subir a la pared y me caí encima porque mi vieja totalmente vieja y me cayó encima del pecho hacia abajo. Unconscious, Hansel was rushed to the hospital. La pared le aplastó el brazo, le aplastó los tendones y no quedó un tendón vivo y no hubo manera de de salvarle el brazo. After the accident, he would dribble the ball on the school court. Katia watched him with a look of pride. He is everything to me, she said with teary eyes as she remembered how he fought tirelessly to be in the United States. It showed what was in store, the tireless work to continue pursuing his dream of playing the game he loves. My life fell apart when Hansel's accident happened. I was the one with him, and when they had to amputate his arm, I felt like it was all over, but God grabbed us and led us down this path, the father recalled. You remember everything from the accident because a blow like this is not forgotten so quickly, regardless of all that he is achieving, thanks to God, Donato said. <laughs> Donato Dominguez continued his life and grabbed a ball again. He asked me, Daddy, how do I do this? Daddy, what will happen when I grow up and have no arm? But he himself found the love for basketball and began to give it his everything, the father said. Over time, Hansel proved many wrong and turned into a really sound player. That's when Moises Mikel, who had familiarity with Salvador, got in touch. In late 2020, he moved to the United States to play basketball at Life Christian Academy in Kissimmee, Florida. It was the continuation of a journey Hansel and his pops will never forget. The Tennessean rode at six foot five. He is a skilled dribbler with cat-like quickness who is able to beat opponents to the basket and dunk over them. He also can pull up from the perimeter and sink threes. Then, one day, the hard work paid off. In August of this year, Hansel posted on Twitter, blessed to receive my first D1 offer from Tennessee State University. TSU and HBCU was the first to give him a scholarship. To those who face difficult situations, he advises them to not Limit yourself. If something happens on the way, it was because God wanted it that way. Further forward will be much better, he concluded.